Now, I'm sure you've smelled the refreshing aroma of citrus fruits before, especially in lemons, oranges, and limes. That vibrant, zesty scent comes from the essential oils found within their peels, primarily the molecule D-limonene. These oils are heavily incorporated into the industry, used in everything from cleaners to perfume. Today, I'll show you how to extract the essential oil from oranges using a distillation technique called steam distillation. Now, this technique has been used for millennia, and in fact does not require proper labware like this to perform. It is also the simplest and equally has a decent yield. So let's get started. As you can see, I just put up a simple distillation setup. Before we get into that though, we need to selectively distill only the zest of the oranges, as that's where most of the limonene is found. We can do this by grating it on a grater and collecting the zest. Be sure to avoid the white pith though, as it doesn't contain any oil. Essentially, it's the inner layer of the peel and it's differently textured, a little stringy and white. To be fully honest, this grinding part took the longest in the experiment and it really tested my patience. Next, you want to add the zest to a round bottom flask and fill it with enough warm distilled water to fully submerge it. Now I'm doing this on a relatively small scale, so I used a 250 milliliter round bottom flask. You could do it on a larger scale though. This setup uses steam to extract the oil from the zest, so the water is essential. Then, I turned the knob on the hot plate and started the pump. We want to make sure that distillation does not proceed too quickly or too slowly, and we want to moderate the heat to keep the distillation going at about a drop or two per second. At least that's how I did it. Now, it's a waiting game. Now, you might be asking yourself, why add the water, and how does it even work? First, we must know the definition of vapor pressure, which is the pressure exerted by the vapor in a closed system when it's in equilibrium with its liquid state. Vapor pressure changes in accordance to temperature, and in order for a liquid to boil, the vapor pressure must be equal to the atmospheric pressure, 1 atm or 760 millimeters of mercury. In a normal distillation where two components are miscible, the total vapor pressure is dependent on how big of a fraction each substance occupies. However, in our limonene extraction, the oil is a tiny fraction of the entire immiscible mixture, so how will we get that over? That's where steam distillation comes in handy, because when two incompatible liquids are distilled, they act independent of each other, so the total vapor pressure is just the sum of the vapor pressures of the two substances at that temperature. We can see here that the molar fraction coefficient on each term has been removed, the little x thingy. This means that the quantity of each substance from the original mixture that distills over has absolutely nothing to do with how large a fraction they occupy, but solely on their vapor pressure. Thus, a liquid that is a tiny portion of the mixture but has a considerably large vapor pressure can be a large fraction of the distillate. And what a surprise! It turns out that limonene has very high vapor pressure, thus does come over in a significant amount. The mixture also boils at a lower temperature than either components, at around 93 degrees Celsius, as seen on this table. This is the temperature when the vapor pressures of the two substances perfectly sum up to atmospheric pressure, or 760 millimeters of mercury. By the way, we often use this to distill any oils from any plants, because oils usually have a high vapor pressure, and that's also a reason why it's so volatile and we could smell it so strongly. Now, you may have noticed a thin oil layer appearing on top of the water. This is indeed the limonene. I stopped the distillation when no increase in the oil layer was visible. I then transferred this into a separatory funnel for a liquid-liquid extraction. Since the water is denser, it sank to the bottom and so I drained out the aqueous layer. The small amount that was left on top was the pure limonene oil. The yield for essential oil distillations are often quite low. I hope this video inspires you to explore steam distillation, and since this technique is so versatile, it can be used to extract essential oils from almost any plant. And that's about it.